We have here the case of Consolidated Distillers of the Far East Inc. versus Zaragoza, which deals with the extent of computation of separation pay and back wages. The court noted in its related case, Rogel's illegal dismissal case, which awarded the reliefs of reinstatement and back wages to Rogel. The court stated that this decision in such case became final and executory on March 30, 2012. Thereafter, during execution proceedings therein, Rogel was granted separation pay in lieu of reinstatement. Furthermore, the court found that Consolidated Distillers of the Far East Inc. or Consolidated Distillers or Rogel's employer no longer questioned the propriety of the awards of separation pay and back wages as it only took issue with their computation. Specifically, the court found that Consolidated Distillers argued that it should only be held liable for back wages and separation pay until the year 2007 in view of the execution of the Asset Purchase Agreement and the termination of the subsequent service agreement with Emperador Distillers Inc. or Emperador Distillers. For Consolidated Distillers, these were supervening events that caused the impossibility of Rogel's reinstatement as his position became inexistent as of 2007, consistent with the ruling of the Supreme Court in Olympia Housing Inc. versus La Pastora. Should computation of separation pay and back wages be limited to the year 2007, as Consolidated Distillers had asserted? The court ruled in the negative. The court stated that consolidated distillers cannot find support in Olympia Housing because the said case held against its position. The court explained that in Olympia Housing, the employer was able to prove in a separate labor case that it had closed its business and followed all statutory requirements arising from the closure of its business. Given this, the court in Olympia Housing ruled that the employer was liable for back wages and separation pay only until the date of the closure of the business of the employer even if this was prior to the Office of the Labor Arbiter's decision finding a legal dismissal. However, the court stressed that for Olympia Housing to apply, the employer must prove the closure of its business in full and complete compliance with all statutory requirements prior to the date of the finality of the award of back wages and separation pay. The statutory requirements referred to by the court were number 1. Notice to the Department of Labor and Employment number 2. Notice to the employees and number 3. Financial statements substantiating its claim that it was operating at a loss. In the present case, Consolidated Distillers failed to show that in 2007, it had closed its business and that it had complied with all the statutory requirements for the closure. The court found that Consolidated Distillers only alleged the execution of the asset purchase agreement and the termination of the service agreement with Emperador Distillers. For the court, these never meant that Consolidated Distillers had closed its business. The court even found no evidence that in 2007, Consolidated Distillers had notified the Department of Labor and Employment or its employees of the closure of its business and the reason for its closure. There was also no showing that Rogel was affected by this purported closure of Consolidated Distillers' business. The court ruled that Consolidated Distillers was liable for back wages and separation pay until the finality of its decision. It applied its decision in Bani Rural Bank Inc. versus De Guzman since separation pay in lieu of reinstatement was awarded after the finality of the decision declaring illegal dismissal and during the execution proceedings because the employees therein manifested that they no longer wanted to be reinstated. The Supreme Court held therein that when there is a supervening event that renders reinstatement impossible, back wages is computed from the time of dismissal until the finality of the decision ordering separation pay. The court explained that when there is an order of separation pay in lieu of reinstatement or when the reinstatement aspect is waived or subsequently ordered in light of a supervening event, making the award of reinstatement no longer possible, the employment relationship is terminated only upon the finality of the decision ordering separation pay. The finality of the decision, said the court, cuts off the employment relationship and represents the final settlement of the rights and obligations of the parties against each other. In the present case, the court found that the award of separation pay in lieu of reinstatement was made subsequent to the finality of the decision in Rogel's legal dismissal case. The court thus ruled that Consolidated Distillers could not evade its liability to Rogel for back wages and separation pay computed until the finality of the court's decision which affirmed the order granting separation pay.